Kirch. Would you like some wine? Yes, please. Thank you for coming over, Natalie. For sure. I've always liked to cook for people. I find it quiet and intimate this way. You get to learn about a person without all the distractions. I agree. It smells really lovely in here. Lasagna? Yes, it was my mother's recipe. She's Italian. We used to always have Sunday lasagnas and pizza Fridays. That's nice. Does your mom live nearby? She passed when I was nine. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, my mother was a great person. She was so loving and caring to everyone around her. And um, that's why I cook her meals whenever I want to be reminded of her. I'm sure your mother's recipe is fantastic, especially if it smells this good. So please, Natalie, tell me a bit about yourself. Where did you come from? Um, well, I grew up in a small town not too far from here. Just me, my parents, my younger brother. We were all very close until my brother passed away. Oh, well, I'm so sorry to hear. How did he pass away, if you don't mind me asking? A car accident. He had a brain aneurysm while driving home from work one night and lost consciousness. He passed away instantly. It's awful to come home from school one day and realize you'll never see your brother again. Deep down, I don't think I've ever gotten over it. I'm not sure if I ever will. I know my brother would want me to live my life and not cry over him. He always used to tell me, be strong, Natalie, even if it feels like the world is against you. At the end of the day, you're the only one that can truly control your destiny. For such a young man, he was really wise. That's a rarity now, unfortunately. He passed when he was 18. Your brother truly seemed like a great young man. It's so unfortunate that he was taken from us way so soon. But I'm so glad that he was able to instill upon you great valuable lessons you can use to further his legacy in your own life. Yeah, for sure. Dinner's ready. Great. Looking forward to it.
I've got a big meeting with him tonight. Yeah? What do you guys have planned? I offered to drive him out to a restaurant. He told me to pick my favorite place. Wait, Harvey let you come to his office? I mean, just be real with someone and open up a little bit and they'll likely let their guard down. I mean, Harvey seems pretty naive and he probably thinks nothing of it because from the two times we've seen each other, there was no indication of me trying to get any information out of him. Besides, it'll be a good opportunity to put some mics in there. The captain and I will tell you to tonight. What? Why? Something's just not sitting right with me. Harvey letting you into his office. We'll tell you like we've tailed Harvey before. If something comes up, we'll use the usual safe word. Last night. When you were opening up to Harvey. What about it? Did you make that up? No. I'm sorry about your brother. I didn't know. There's a lot you don't know about me, Sean. It's best for both of us if we keep it that way. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, Haley. We're partners. I want you to know that I'm here for you. Thanks, Sean. Can I help you? Just the man I've been looking for. You haven't been answering your phone. I've been busy. They always say that. Are you really busy? Knowing you, you can't occupy yourself for 24 hours of the day. Especially with that attention span and brain power of yours. <clears throat> You're scared of me, aren't you? It's okay. I'd be scared of me too. Sit. No. You know, I've been thinking about what you said the other day. It got me thinking. Harvey, if you don't protect what belongs to you, someone else is gonna be there. And that someone is me. I've had enough of you treating me like another one of your henchmen. I was the one that did all the dirty work for your father back in the day. While well, you got to sit in your room playing video games while mommy made you hot chocolate. You don't know what it's like to work your ass off day in and day out, and have the leadership position just given to you like that? Look at you. You haven't done shit since you've been appointed leader. You parade around like this is some sort of game. I want you to know something, Harvey. I never liked you, and I never respected you. So that's what's gonna make this feel so much better. I want you to feel the pain and die a slow death, Harvey. I'll see you in hell. It's great to be able to be on a stakeout with you, Captain. Of course, Detective. I'll always support you and Haley, even if the higher-ups don't. You two are good detectives, so you just stay with that and I'll deal with the politics when they get in the way. Pretty quiet night tonight. Do you think this is the main office of his? It's unlikely. His father used to change offices all the time, so this is probably just temporary. Who the hell are you? Oh man, I was really looking forward to having that strawberry cheesecake tonight. Harvey Ross is already dead when I got here. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out who to call to figure this out. Bullshit. Hey, stop! Stand down. Put the knife down, now. Put your hands where I can see them and get down on the floor. 
You good? Yeah. I need the coroner and two patrol officers to my location. You mind doing some explaining? Why don't you do us a favor, Captain, and just shoot me right here? I know you want to. I'm here, unarmed. Take your shot. And why would you want me to do that? To be frank, I've always found the idea of death fascinating. Not knowing when you're gonna take your last breath, eat your last meal, or say hi to your friend for one last time. That's the beauty of life, isn't it? Being able to appreciate everything you have in this world, everything that it offers you, all in the palm of your hand. <laughs> I have no regrets in my life. I forged my own path. I did what I wanted. I did what made me happy. And if you're gonna cut it short, so be it. But I got to where I wanted, even if it was for a short period of time. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of doing that, Tommy. She knows my name. Hmm. That's sweet, isn't it? Anybody can read the bloody case files. Uh, you wanna get snappy, Detective? I can get snappy. Hey, enough. How do you two know each other? No is a pretty strong word. We've had a run-in before. Tommy here got let go after he was pulled over for reckless driving. He was also conveniently let go when he was pulled over for a DUI. Sounds like somebody has luck on their side, huh? Everything, everyone has a price. If you have the right number in mind, you can get away with anything. Captain, can't we get rid of this piece of shit? Putting him away won't do anything if we can't prove he killed Harvey. Oh, he'll go away, Detective. And we'll make sure of it. It'll be hard for him to get out of this one. You got something to say, Detective. Why do you do it? Why do you resort to crime when you could do so much good in the world? Because the world is an evil place, Detective. Do I want to be the one that wakes up every day to go to some bullshit job like yours? You put away criminals and half of them end up back on the streets anyway. What's the satisfaction in that? What kind of life do you live? The world is more than barbecues, beers, and solving crimes. That's where you're wrong, Tommy. Yeah? How so? We put away bad people so that good and innocent people don't get hurt. Those are the people that deserve to live their life, not people like you. She's right. There's more to life than money. Greed just corrupts the mindset. Turns you into something you're not, just for an end result. That's the beauty of it though, right? You get to see who really wants the high life the most. What's the point of living some ordinary working man's job? The guaranteed peace of mind that you don't have to look over your shoulder every day when you step out of the damn house. <laughs> yeah, what's the fun in that? Enough. Sean, get him out of here. Do you think we'll be able to keep him in jail for a good amount of time? I hope so, Detective. Looks like your approach finally worked out. We've got something solid to work with. It'll be hard for Tommy to buy his way out of this one. Now let's go, Detective. We've got a lot of work to do. And where down we go?
So we're down. 